Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna be working on a project to help beat the heat. Because I don't know about you, but where we are, it has been very, very hot lately. And I was feeling like I really need something to wear while I'm out playing with my kiddos. We spend a lot of time in our backyard playing, in and out of the pool, the sandbox, and so forth. And my goodness, we've pushed into the 90s and 100s this week. And so I was really in desperate need of something to keep me cool and comfortable, but also perhaps a little stylish. And so I went through my stash and I was feeling really inspired by the play suits of the 1940s and 1950s. And I found something. I've got this lovely New York pattern as well as this one. Um, and I was thinking about maybe I would make that. And then I came across this video on YouTube of people who have been making circle skirts and then turning them into shorts. So you have the beauty of a skirt, the simplicity of it, the coverage, and for me, the comfort, because I don't always feel super comfortable in shorts, um, but yet, even though these are circle skirts, they have the convenience of shorts. It's gonna give you a little bit of fabric between your legs so there's less friction between the thighs for ladies like me with a little bit larger bottoms and they, they aren't gonna be able to fly up quite as easily. And so I thought, gosh, I, could I put these two things together? Could I do this YouTube video and make a circle skirt shorts, um, skirt, uh, and then make it into a play suit, do something like that. And many of these 1940s, 1930s play suits have straighter skirts that go over the little short rompers uh, because they were going through rationing and so forth. The fuller skirts didn't really come out until around the 50s. Um, and in my stash, I had an advanced pattern, which is this one here, and it has all of these tops in it that I thought, gosh, those look strikingly similar to many of the play suit tops that they have out there, only they're 50s. So these should go beautifully with a nice full skirt and be really comfy. And I can make the whole outfit out of one fabric. I happen to have a stash of fabric I got on clearance. It's Jersey, so it's gonna be crazy breathable. It's nice and stretchy, nice and flowy. And I really wanna give it a try. There's a couple of different patterns in this advance pattern here that I think I might want to pick from and I think it might depend on exactly how much of that fabric I've got and how much it takes to make the skirt. I watched a couple of the tutorials online and I think it's going to be pretty easy and breezy, but I've thought that before <laughs> with the patterns and then found that they were a bit more challenging than anticipated. So we're going to see how it goes. You'll see some footage here and I will walk you through my process of making a circle skirt and turning it into a pair of shorts and then picking out a lovely top so that I can have a summer play suit that is kind of 40s, kind of 50s, super easy, breezy, comfy, and maybe a little bit of vintage style but maybe something we can bring into the modern world as well. All right, guys, I'm really excited about this one, so let's get stitching. All right, my dears, I have everything we need right here. I have our stretchy fabric. I've got my chalk pen. I have pins. I have my handy dandy tailors curve, measuring tape, always necessary, and a good pair of shears. I have the fabric also folded over. So we know that when we're doing a circle skirt, it's hot dog, then hamburger. This is wide enough that I was able to do hot dog twice and now I've done hamburger. Um, and so I don't know if, the <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work. Uh, it could turn out to be hot garbage, um, in which case it will be good that this is material I picked up somewhere on clearance. So, in the tutorial, they basically have you map out a circle skirt. Then you open it up and you draw in, you know, your, your crotch seam. So that's what we're gonna do. And because we want this to be like extra twirly, extra skirt 
like. We're going to try to do the full, the, the double circle skirt, right? It's a double skirt and then we're going to try to use the two cut edges for the crotch seam. So let's start by giving this a whirl. The first thing we need to do is I've decided that I want this to sit below my natural waist, natural waist being about 29. I'd like it to sit kind of more um, closer to a lower tummy, but still above the hips. Um, my hips are around, I don't know, like 42, something to that nature. So lower tummy, top of hips, they're about 38 for me. So for a traditional circle skirt, I would divide that number by eight, and then I would have the uh, diameter I would put here in the corner. Because this is a double, this actually needs to be even smaller, okay? So we're actually gonna take our measurement, we're gonna like divide by eight, and then I'm going to take that measurement and cut it in half with the hopes that, and because this, I'm just guessing, I've never done this one before. But in my brain, it makes sense that if you are doing two, you should have two halves, right? So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give it a whirl. Look at that, guys. Look at that. One, two, two perfect circle skirts. It shall become one. Now we are noticing that this is very small and that's okay because remember we are gonna be cutting this open. And again, remember in if you are making a circle skirt or if this works and you're gonna do this and you're gonna make a circle skirt, it's okay for this to be a little bit on the small side. I would rather have this be small and have to widen it just a little bit, then have it be huge, and then have like all sorts of puck puckering and gathering coming up to the center for me. That's the, the look that I, I want it to be a smoother look. All right, so in the original tutorial, when they're doing the crotch seam, and we are going to, so we are going to go ahead and Cut. We're going to be bold, people. We're going to be bold and we're going to hope that this is mostly straight. Right? All right, straight ish. Now she comes out like three and a half inches. That's a pretty deep crotch seam. But you want it to have like, you want it to tuck under, right? Okay, this makes sense. What we're gonna do is refold this. I have tried this on. It does fit, slips up over my waist. And this is a nice stretchy material, which is really great. We have two little legs. We've got tons and tons of fabric, which is creating this really beautiful skirt drape. There is a small problem, um, which I did not foresee, and maybe I should have. But again, this is the first time I'm trying this. Um, this center section 
is dropping down lower than the rest of the skirt. So it's gonna need to be trimmed up. The other thing is that, I mean, I followed the tutorial. We did the, the drop here through the crotch area the way they said to do it at like 11 and an 8, 11.8 inches. And I feel like it's too low for me. It's kind of creating like this saggy diaper that's kind of coming down too low. So what I think we need to do is, we've got so much material because it's two full circle skirts. I am very tempted to, you know, see, I don't wanna lose a ton of it, but I'm tempted to like just whoop, whack that and just kind of like try again because we wouldn't lose that much or just see if I can kind of nip this up a little bit. I'd like this to be higher. And then we are also going to have to kind of like bring the skirt. And this is the thing, cause like it's just dripping down too low in the crotch area, which nobody wants. Nobody wants a drippy crotch. Um, but I do want this to be a little bit more fitted up through the legs. And I don't want the center to be falling down lower. So I do think for this to work, we are going to need, we're gonna to need to change the crotch somehow. We're gonna to need to change it a little bit. I might have to lay it back out on the, the big table downstairs and kind of just take a look at it. And if we have to, we will just open this seam back up and try again. But I will say this for this, the double circle to create a pair of shorts that really and truly looks like a skirt, like really and truly, this is working. This is really friggin' working and I'm so excited about it. So I just need to figure out the crotch. Just a crotch, we can figure this out. Okay, kind of bring it down so you can see, I've kind of got my waist lined up here properly. And then you can see here, the problem that we're running into. You can also see how beautiful and full this is and how it's really gonna look like a skirt, especially with like a little play suit. But we have this going on, which is unattractive. So let's go ahead and start by getting rid of that. And I think what we are gonna have to do, and I am gonna do it probably before I take that center seam out because I wanna be able to see that really clearly. It is not scientific because we are winging it sometimes this gets me in trouble like I'm just like I'll just whack some fabric off the end of this what's the worst that can happen <laughs> and then I do regret it but you know I feel like a lot of times I actually kind of look out so whenever we're just gonna go with it And then run this back and forth and create a little dotted line. Oh, look, that looked, that worked great, pretty great. Better than that. It is just still a tiny bit right there. But you know what? We're gonna take this out anyway, because I do feel like then like, come on. That's not enough of a seam for shorts. I feel like this crotch seam needs to come up to like way up here. What I'm gonna do is measure my own like kind of navel, navel to inside crotch line. on the wrong side. I think that's gonna be better. We're gonna try that. Let's flip this inside out, see if we can't look at where that's gonna fall. And then, okay, so if I'm looking at this here, outside of just like whacking off and starting over, I don't see a lot of options because it's not like lowering a crotch seam where you could just like make it lower. Like I can't add the fabric back in right here, but I do know I want this higher. I don't, however, really wanna lose much on my waistband here, if any, at all. And so I think what my thought might be is to 
measure down where I want the bottom of the crotch to be and come out here and then come around. And then I only have to really lose like this little bit here versus like whacking like an entire section off. I feel like that might be the more ideal situation. Okay, you guys, I just tried these on and I am in love. I am in love, 125 million percent in love. All right, so we have shorts, but it's actually a skirt. Okay, a skirt that we need a waistband for. That's the only thing we are missing. So. This is actually really lovely stretchy material. It seems to be working really well already, kind of just coming up. The only problems are that because this is a lot of material at the bottom, it's kind of, kind of pulling down at the, the center, the navel area and the back where these seams are. So I do wanna have like a really nice waistband. Now, I was considering just using elastic on here, but I've decided that this is kind of like yoga pant material. I don't know how else to describe it. Um, and, and so I th think actually what I want to do is just kind of make like a yoga waistband, like a yoga band waistband. Um, and if I, I mean, we've got just gobs and gobs of extra fabric here. Oh! So I have this whole section here at the end. I can whack off um, a section here and I think just make a really lovely waistband, just light, slightly smaller than this but still have the stretch ability but slightly smaller so that it'll kind of hold and give this a little bit of extra nip and tuck right here at the center and then I was going to go ahead and uh, do a hem on the bottom and uh, now I'm not so sure now I'm not really sure because I actually am really liking the length right where it is at and I keep tugging on this, like really like tugging on it and giving it a good um, jolt. And it's like, it's not rolling, it's not doing anything. And so I am tempted to just leave it as is until after the first washing. Now this fabric has been washed, but until the first washing of this garment and see if it rolls. And if it does, then I might flip a hem, but if it doesn't and it holds this structure really nicely, then I just might leave it because I'm lazy. And also I wanna wear this tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, new skirt for tomorrow. That's actually secret shorts. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, let's make a waistband. Okay, boom. Magic waistband. So I have sewn these sides together. I'm going to turn this, whoop, my little band is getting, I'm going to turn this inside out. And now you're like, okay, now what? This is like wackadoo. You're right. What we're going to do is fold this in, okay? So I suppose you could have only turned it in halfway to begin with. We're going to fold this in like this and give it a shaky shake, whack. All right. Line up my little seams. And then, there, look at that. Gorgeous waistband. Okay, now we need to attach said waistband to skirt, okay? Skirt, skort, secret shorts. completely finished our little skirt skirt hidden 
shorts, which I am super excited about. And so it's time to move on to making the bodice or the top for our little play suit. I've decided to go with this version here. I just, I think it's going to be super comfortable. Very, very cute. I considered this one down here for a while. It has some cute little gathered. It's all one piece for the front, one piece for the back. Um, but I thought, you know, maybe this might have a slightly more flattering look here. So we're going to do this and I've got enough fabric to do it. The pattern pieces have, are in good condition. They were a little bit crumpled here and there, but overall doing really well. So I went ahead and used them to cut things out. This is the back. I've got some darts to sew in here. This is the interfacing for the neckline. And I have actually already sewn darts into the front pieces. And because this is a very stretchy material here, what I thought that I might do, this has like a placket on the side. So if you're doing this model here, it's got like a little placket over here to add buttons. And I think instead of that, I'm gonna go ahead and just sew it all together. It's super stretchy. It should stretch up over the top of my head and it should be one less thing I have to worry about. So let's give it a whirl. I've got the darts put into the both front panels. I've got to get the darts put into the back panels and then we'll get everything put together. Okay guys, let's talk, wrap up on this very, very fun summer play suit. I can't believe I've got midriff showing here, but here we are, I do, <laughs> and I'm gonna be proud about it, right? We, we need to embrace ourselves. So I love this outfit. I have actually already worn it this week. This skirt, secret shorts, I mean, it's got twirl, it's got comfort, it's got coverage, it's amazing. Um, super convenient, I ran around town in it, very comfortable, sat in my backyard for hours upon hours in the hot sun, very, very comfortable. Let's talk about the changes I made to it from the YouTube tutorials I saw. The YouTube tutorials I saw only had a single circle skirt pattern and then they made it from there for this one, to get this much fabric around the base and get the bigger amount of volume, we did two circle skirts with half waist measurements in order to create half the waist on this side and half the waist on the other. And there was a point when we were making it, I really wasn't sure if it was going to work. The bottom kept sagging in the center and I wasn't sure if the waist measurement was really gonna come together and it did, and I am so glad that I did the double instead of the single. While I absolutely love the single versions that I have seen on YouTube, and I definitely think I'm going to make one for this particular fabric, because it is very, very light, I'm really glad that I went ahead and went with the double and got a little bit more volume and a little bit more fabric in it. For the top, the top came together pretty darn easy if I am being honest. I only did two little changes. I nipped the sides in just a little bit, which I don't think is really a change. It's just making sure your clothes fit properly. Um, and I did add this waistband here. So the original pattern just had it coming down and then you put a hem onto it. And I felt like it just had more risk of it like flying up when my arms went up. So I put this little waistband here and it almost makes it like a bra or a yoga top, which I'm really excited about. And it really stays in place, it stays down, and it gives me a little bit more security as well. When I'm running around after the kids outside, I'm not worried about things falling up or things flying up, <laughs> um, things like that. Um, but overall, very, very happy. I think I will definitely make a couple more of these secret shorts, circle skirts that I can wear throughout the summer, maybe in a couple of different patterns and maybe even different fabrics just to see what the differences in those fabrics are. I really like this top and I think it's gonna be really great for working out and playing in the backyard, but I think I would also consider making 
some that are just a little bit longer because while I've got this going on right now, um, I don't run around town with a midriff hanging out. That's just not my style and I think that's okay. I tend to be full coverage. Things I really love about this outfit in addition to the things we've spoken about is the fact that it goes with so many things in my closet already. I have been able to put together quite a few little outfits with it and feel confident in it, which makes it more versatile. And honestly, it makes it a much better add to my closet because I can wear it kind of vintage. I can wear it very, very modern and I can be very comfortable in both. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I hope you enjoyed kind of making a modern vintage style outfit. And if you did, please, please hit that like and subscribe button. I would love to have you along on my future adventures. Thank you guys so much. Bye.